Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're gonna have our second installment of our new video podcast series. And we'll find out who our special guest is right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just talk, kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon in that way. Every single single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So today we're going to have our second episode of our new video podcast series. And we finally came up with a name for it. Keto and Friends. I like that. Because we're obviously going to be talking about keto. <laughs> and whoever is on our channel is our friend. Yeah. Whether they know they're our friend or not. <laughs> But we're inviting people who have really inspired us in our own keto journey, and we know that we that they will be a blessing to you as well. And definitely, the person that we're talking to today fits that criteria. Yeah, so today's guest is somebody who really inspires me. I think he inspires everybody. He's one of the most positive people I have ever met. You can't watch one of his videos without putting a smile on. I mean, the bottom line is, his whole tagline is, if you woke up today, you are winning. Right. So if you know who we're talking about, if you don't know who we're talking about, we're talking about Logan Delgado, also known as Goody Beats. And this is somebody who you don't want to be put off by just because you see him and you're like, I don't relate to his physique. There is no way I'm going to have the muscles that he has. What I love about him and what I do relate to is that need for positivity. And he exercises daily those attitude muscles. Mm -hmm. And he is just as bulked up with a positive attitude as he is healthy with positive muscles. Yeah. And he came from where a lot of us were. He was an obese person and he decided one day, hey, I've got to get things right and went into a health fit, started like working out in a gym and then found keto. And that's some of the things that we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna talk about his family. We're gonna talk about what it's like right now in the middle of a pandemic and how he got started on keto and what we can do at home. And we're also gonna talk about a challenge that's coming up in the beginning of May. Well, I don't wanna wait another second. Let's get into the interview. What's going on everyone? We are here with our good friend, Logan Delgado, also known as Goody Beats. Probably one of the most positive people that you will ever meet in your life. I, I love just turning on his YouTube channel every single day so, to be able to just get a little bit of that positivity. I mean, I love his whole slogan. If you woke up, you are winning today. And I just love that about him. Yes. So uh, we throw it over to you. How you doing, Logan? I'm doing great. I am doing fantastic. Thank you guys for letting me join you on the Skype call. Um, yeah, man. Every it's funny. It was every like obviously, everyone always tells me like, "Oh man, you're so positive. I love it. You're always smiling." And it's just I don't know. I don't know what it is. Like I am just one of these guys that's always been like glass half full. You know, like it's always like thinking about positive stuff. And I, I always think it's normal, right? But then I, but then you do like when you see those people, like when you wake up in the morning, they're like, oh my gosh, I don't want to go to work today. Ah, my gosh, I'm tired. Oh my gosh, I'm like, man, come on, you woke up, you're winning. And it just became my slogan, and everybody loves it. But it really, it's, it, it's really. I just did a, 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 a like a, a live yesterday on the Redmond's Real Salts uh, page, and I tell everybody the same thing. Everybody has a choice every single morning. Every mm -hmm. single morning before you get out of that bed, you have the choice and only you. Uh, and you can either decide to think about all the things that you're blessed with, all the things that you're grateful for, or you can think about all the negative. Ah, it's rainy outside. Ah, I'm tired. Ah, I don't feel like getting up. Ah, I hate being stuck inside. You, you have the choice. The power is up to you. And what are some things that you do to pass that positivity on to your kids? Yeah, yeah. So one, like one, I like I, I try to tell my like I was, my kids are small. So for those of you who don't know, my kid, uh, baby Lo, um, which is my oldest daughter, she's two and a half, and then I have Camila, who's a year. 
and just always playing with them, tickling them, like always just like showing them love and affection and playing with them and, and just like talking to them and just like, I want them to always know that their dad is like a funny, happy guy, you know, like, right. I look, 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 and, and nothing wrong. If you're a parent who's very stern and strict, I, I just, that's not me, you know? Um, I want my, my kids to know like, Oh, there's dad being goofy again. Like, Oh, there's dad always doing something. Like he's always up to something. Right. Uh, very playful. So that's, that's what I want to be known for with them. I, I want them to know that. Yes, I can, I can't get serious sometimes, but for the most part, uh, dad's a, a jokester, a funny guy. That's for awesome. sure. So speaking of the family, how is everybody doing? How's everybody doing in the quarantine, you know, staying at home, especially having two small children. I mean, we have 19 year olds at home, but you've got little ones at home. Yeah, it's, it's tough. It is very tough. Like to do this, I, I'll let everybody know. You'll probably hear my kids in the background crying because <laughs> once they hear me, they want to go whatever room dad's in, you know? And so if they hear daddy, they want to get to daddy. And, and, and so like a lot of these call, calls or phone meetings that I'm doing working from home, it is, it is a challenge, but thankfully everyone's going through it. Right. So it's not really right. awkward if you're on like a, a meeting and your kid comes in, everyone just laughs. I'm like, yeah, that's, that's the way things are. Oh, well, like no big deal. So it is, it is tough to, to focus on things and really mm-hmm. hunker down like, okay, I need an hour block to just focus on this next task of things that I need to do because if, well, one, when I hear my kids, I want to play with them. Like it's very tough. <laughs> I, I can just act like if I hear my girls calling me or, or something like, I, I want to go play with them. So not only is it hard to like get things done here, like, you know, being at home, but like, I just, I have that playfulness. Like I, the dad in me wants to stop what I'm doing and go play with them. So it, it, everybody's adjusting, um, but everybody's good. The family's good. I, I obviously the girls love it. The girls absolutely love it. My wife and, and my two little girls love having me home every day. Cause for the most part, I do most of my work from home, but then I'll go to coffee shops it, it, when I need that hour block or something, or if I have a very important phone call meeting, um, where like I need it very quiet. I'll go sit in my truck at a parking lot somewhere and just sit, park somewhere and, and get on a phone call. But for the most part, um, every, everybody's good and they're definitely loving it. Now, when people see you, their first reaction may be, he can't relate to what I'm going through because he's amazing and he's fit. But like us, you actually did have a time in your life when you were overweight. And I know that you've shared this on your own channel, but in case there's someone who isn't familiar with your story, what was the turning point for you as far as deciding to get healthy? Yeah, so I remember it like it was yesterday. So I was, uh, I had just gotten a new job and I needed to buy some new pants, a uniform pants to, to require to, to, to go to the job. <clears throat> and so I needed to go get some pair of pants. And I remember in the dressing room shopping for a pair of pants and I kept needing to get the neck size up mm-hmm. for it to fit around my waist. And I remember looking in the mirror and I had that picture. I always use it on my transformation Tuesdays all the time. And it's me sitting in front of the mirror or standing in front of the mirror with my shirt off. And I just snapped a picture because I was like, how did, how did this happen? How, how am I shopping for this big pant size? Like this is, this is crazy. Even I knew that this was a huge, huge pair of pants. And I just remember sitting there like, you know what? This is not me. Uh, I'm better than this. Um, I, I need to do something about this. And I remember that the following day I got a gym membership and see what I used to do was do day passes, which, which, which all that means is when I have time, I'll right. go to the gym. Well, guess what people, nobody has time. Nobody okay. has time. Older, nobody has time. You make time. It's all about prioritizing things, right? What's most important for you. You'll have time for, you'll make time for. And so I would never commit to a membership. I'd always find these rinky dink gyms that would do day passes. And then finally, when I, when I, when I joined a gym and said, look, Hey, I'm paying for a year. Like I'm either going to waste my money or get my money out of it. And I did not want to waste my money. So I made sure I went to the gym every single day and it just became a snowball effect. Mm -hmm. Um, and I just became obsessed with, with nutrition and working out and, and diet and, and dieting. And, and along my journey, 
I happen to find some weird diet called the ketogenic diet. <laughs> and so it, uh, it changed my life. It changed my life spiritually, mentally, physically. And yeah, it's, it's, it was, it's been an amazing, amazing ride. Now, how do you work the family with keto? So do you, does it, is everybody in the house keto or the girls sort of keto or, you know, like, do you limit their sugar? Yeah. Because we have a lot of people who ask us about like, you know, what should I do with my kids? Should I let my kids continue to eat the cereals and that kind of stuff? So this is, this is the way I look at it. Um, we are very, uh, so me, I'm very like healthy food driven in the house, right? Um, my wife We'll we'll go through periods that through through her through her year where she'll do very strict keto. Then it's mostly low carb. Then it's fasting, and then sometimes she's like, "The kids are driving me crazy. I don't care. I mean, <laughs> and for those of you who are married, uh, the last thing you want to do is tell your husband and wife how to eat. <laughs> oh no, I've learned that. Uh, happy wife, happy life. Exactly, exactly. So I I you know she she knows the way she should be eating. But I don't ever, again, I never, I'm not one of these like, hey, pound on the head, eat, well, you know, she knows she needs what she needs to eat. Now, when it comes to our kids, um, we have a very relaxed um, stance. Like, no, I don't make them eat keto, but I'm very big on like eating good whole foods. So my daughter, Lo, you may see her on Instagram every once in a while eating a big chunk of meat. I want them to know the importance of eating meat, eating healthy food. So every time I'm eating, I always make it a point to them, hey, baby Lo, when you eat this, guess what? You get big muscles. You get strong like daddy. So, you know, they know that, hey, when I eat this. So every once in a while, uh, Lolo will say, daddy, what you making? And I'm like, I'm making meat. Dad, can I have some? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You can have some. Yeah, I want big muscles like you. So just, you know, letting them know that it's, it's, it's healthy and it's okay. And it's, it's good for them to eat meat mm -hmm. and proteins. Now, again, I don't, I, we try to limit, you know, the, the sugary stuff. Now, look, it's one of those things like, <clears throat> it, it's kind of hard, right? It's kind of hard. Like my, my, like before all this happened, my, 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 my daughter just loved to go play at their cousin's house, their grandma's house on both sides. And so look, they don't do keto. And so I don't want, I don't want my daughter, especially my daughters, cause women for, for kids as well. I don't want her to be so focused on her body right. on like at such that at such a young age. Yes. I want them to know the importance of nutrition and eating good, but I don't want them to ever think like, well, uh, you know, if you eat this, you'll get fat. Like you're a kid, enjoy life, have fun, go to a birthday party, eat a cake. I don't want you to think like, Oh, my daddy says I can't have this because this and that. I don't want ever to think, I don't want them to ever think like that. I'm very big on my kids just enjoying their childhood. But yeah. at the same time, you best believe I'm taking my daughters out to go play, to go hike, to burn off all that sugary carb stuff. If they're going to be eating that, that's yeah. the way I look at it. Yeah, we, I mean, we talk about it all the time. It's like, even if, if you're limiting it at home, like we, you can't limit them kids when they go to school and stuff, but yeah. if we can do something at home and start educating them properly, like we talked to Dr. Barry last week and they've already got the baby, like Anish put up a picture of him chewing on a bone. Like their teething yeah. rings are bones for him. Like getting him in the right habit. He's like, by the time he goes to his first birthday party, He'll probably end up be getting some sugar, but if you can limit it at home, you're yeah. one step better than what most kids are. Yes. And giving them that knowledge of what the right things to eat are. Now, yeah. if you are stuck at home right now, like we, we all are, and you can't get into the gym, what are some things that we could be doing at home to just make the decision not to let another day pass, but to get moving right now? Especially if they don't have you know, an exercise, like you have the, you have the bike in your garage, right? Yeah, but yeah. some people, we don't have a treadmill. We don't have anything like that. So what are some ways we can get cardio at home? What are some ways we could do weightlifting if we don't have any weight sets, things like that at home? Yeah. So first and most importantly, number one, you need to find a routine. Okay. Find what times work best between this whole crazy schedule, whether that's before the kids wake up, when you put the kids down for a nap, or when the kids go to bed and you can finally get that alone time and go work out and do whatever, right? Find what time you can consistently do your training hour block or 30 minute block, whatever that may be. And then decide what you want to do. Look, you, the, the, the possibilities are endless. It's up to you. I've seen people do some crazy stuff. They're like, 
They got water jugs. They're using them as squats. They're using them as rows. I mean, you just got to get creative, right? But at the end of the day, air squats, perfect, perfect. You know, people, you like, yes, if you don't know, I do train bodybuilding. So if you don't think air squats will beat me up, you are sadly mistaken. <laughs> air squats, you do 100 air squats, I want to throw up, okay? Mm -hmm. So it's all about effort and intensity. Don't think about, oh, I don't have a gym. I don't have really hardcore weights to, to, get, to pump my muscles. Hey, you just give effort and intensity for, uh, on whatever exercise you're doing, and trust me, you'll get the job done. So air squats, you got push-ups, you got burpees, you got mountain climbers. And if you live in Texas, you're blessed enough to live in a, in a state with great weather. Get your butt outside and go run. You know, get outside, go for a hike, go for a run and, and just get moving at the end of the day. Just get moving because you know it and I know it and everyone listening to this and watching this knows this. It is very easy to sit on the couch and watch about six, seven episodes of whatever your Tiger King or whatever. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Snack on foods all day, right? Because, hey, you're stuck at home. You can't go anywhere. There's nowhere to go. The pantry's right there. Might as well just snack and watch, you know, the, the the show that everyone's talking about, right? It's very easy to do that and get into that routine. So most importantly, get up, get off that couch, get active, and get moving. Let's talk about your cut a little bit. How is how's the cut going? Are you almost done with it? I am almost done. I will tell you this. I will tell you this. So for those of you who don't know what the cut is, so I do a series on my YouTube channel called the Keto Cut. We are now in season five. So can you believe that? We, we've done this five wow. times. Wow. Yes. Uh, first year was great. And, and when I say great, we had a successful cut. I reached my goals. I did what I want to accomplish. Great. Year two, not so much. Year three was awesome. Last year was terrible. Did not get to where I wanted to get as far as body weight, the way I wanted to look, body fat. It's just there it was a lot of... Um, reasons why, but don't want to make excuses. I took what I knew needed to change from last year and incorporated it into this key, this year's keto cut. And I hired a coach because yes, even me, I need someone that to hold me accountable. Okay. I, I don't care how, how much motivation you have, how, how inspiring you, you are. Everybody needs a coach. Everyone needs someone on the outside looking in. Right. Uh, to, to, to help them and tell them what needs what they need to do. And so I hired a coach this year and it was probably the best decision of my life. He is constantly always on me. He's constantly always checking on me, constantly giving me updates. And it's just held, it's held me accountable even with everything going on. So the plan this year for the keto cut grand finale was to step on stage. I've never stepped on stage. I've never competed really? body where I've never done it. People have always told me to do it. And I've always been scared, like always like, oh, like, I don't know. I, I don't, you know, what if I lose? I just was always scared. And I finally said, you know what? What, what the heck? Like, I, I'm, I always tell people, don't be scared. Like, I need to practice what I preach. I need to listen to my own words. And so I said, all right, I'm going to compete. Well, you know, again, this the keto cut started in January. It always starts the first week of January. Who would have foreseen what was going to happen four or right. five months later, right? The whole right. world's changed. So no competition this year. Uh, we have a month left of the keto cut and I'm just going to probably do like a photo shoot. Like my good buddy, Robert, uh, Savage did. Yeah. Uh, Robert yeah Jonathan just did a photo shoot because exactly. his got, his got canceled yes. as well. So exactly. Jonathan just did one as well. So that is the plan for me as well. I'll just do a photo shoot. And, um, yeah, I, I, I will say this. We're we're at the tail end and I am, I'm about ready for it to be done. <laughs> Have yeah. you been glad to have this discipline in this season? I know, I mean, obviously the end result, you know, you don't get to enjoy the competition aspect of it, but if you weren't having this great discipline in this season. Yeah, it would, it would have gone south a big time. Cause I, what I, what I could tell you this. And so one thing about me <laughs> is that people always ask like, Hey, you do, you, you do keto. Like, don't you miss donuts? Don't you miss pizza? Don't you miss ice cream and cupcakes and all that? And I'm like, no, I, I really don't. You know what the thing I miss the most is craft beer. So oh. <laughs> I, I, I'm from Texas. I've, I've know I've said that before, but Texas brewing companies is really big here. Like brewing right. your own beer in Texas. And I, I'm sure it's popular everywhere, but especially here in Texas, it's like, 
you ain't cool if you ain't drinking local beer somewhere, right? <laughs> and so I always like to have a beer here and there and just enjoy the weather, enjoy, you know, go out to eat with the wife and we'll we'll have, you know, we'll have a beer here and there. And I and I, I miss that. That's that's what I like. That's what I enjoy. And so uh, that's when I say I'm ready for the keto cuts to be over. I'm ready to be able to enjoy my one beer on the weekends or two beers on the weekend and just just relax. But yeah, this whole like staying at home stressful thing. <laughs> my wife has been like, hey babe, I'm at, I'm out of my Michelob Ultra. Can you go get me? Uh, uh, a pack because the kids are stressing me out and I just need to relax. So it's the same thing like with people in wine, right? Like they need their wine. Um, I, 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 I could tell you this, if, if it wasn't for having a coach and being on this keto cut, I would have been having my beers for sure. <laughs> One of the things we talk about, we don't, we don't ever venture off of keto. We've stayed keto for three years for me, two years for her, yes. but definitely during this time, we found that a uh, little bit of a struggle with the consistently, Walking, what do you call it? The refrigerator bomb. Refrigerator like, drive by. You drive, oh. you know what? Oh, let me grab, nothing not keto, but let me grab a piece of pepperoni <laughs> instead of the you know, one or two meals a day. Like, you know, we're trying to do like what Dr. Barry says, like eat until you're full with that one or two meals and don't worry about counting your calories. But if you're doing it all day long, like every hour, grabbing a piece of pepperoni or something and being stuck at home has definitely led to that. But yes. talk about food. On keto, what are your favorite foods? Because the one food that I always tell people that they're like, what do you miss? I miss Mexican food because <laughs> I loved Mexican food, but I liked the corn tortillas and the rice and the beans. So as a Mexican, yeah. how do you keep with your heritage? You have a large family eating oh. those kind of foods. I know you love barbecue, oh. but how do you stick with your Mexican heritage and enjoy those foods while still staying on keto? Yeah, it's tough. It, it is something that's very hard to do. For those of you who don't know, I am very close to my family. I have a huge, it's funny, um, I always make a, a, a running joke because we, as a, as, as a family, we get together every weekend. Before mm -hmm. this all happened, we, every weekend we always got together. And so I'd be like, I'd always film it and, and, and on my snap, my, my, my quote would always be on this on episode 293, my big ass Mexican family. <laughs> now, but I, you know, I'd always joke around a lot. on episode 949 because that's what we do. We get together at least minimum twice a week, and we always make the Mexican rice, fidel, tortillas, corn tortillas, um, beans, and cheese. And like my culture is very big on tacos every morning. Like. Baby Lo, when she was a baby, I swear, my and, and my my mom was watching her. Um, she would eat a taco every morning. My mom would get her a baker a taco every morning. But it is it is hard. But thank goodness that keto has come so far. There's so many options you can do. There's so many low carb tortillas that you can do. Um, I, again, some people don't like cauliflower rice, but if you need that rice texture, you can do rice. You know, with us. Um, chips and queso is really big. Well, you can do pork grinds and queso and you still get that crunchy feeling. You can still dip it in the cheese and you're still chatting with people because normally that's what you do. W with my family, we get around a big table, open up all, we open up all these tortilla chips and, and someone's got salsa and queso and guac and I'm like, oh, I'm just sitting there like, oh, I can't eat anything, but I'll take my pork grinds and dip it in stuff. <laughs> so it, it, it was hard in the beginning for sure but uh, you you know how far keto has come now mm -hmm. it's like there if there's a there's a, a keto version of everything now have you seen I mean, a few weeks ago i don't know if you if you're familiar with them but strong sisters put out a carnivore tortilla and it's it just like a regular it almost tastes like a corn tortilla the only ingredients are shredded chicken and egg white oh wow you that mix it together like in a food processor and put it on a griddle and i'm telling you when you pick it up you think you're eating a corn tortilla Dude, I, and, and you got to try it. I have to try it because I, I'm a, I'm a corn guy. Like before, like if it, if it wasn't for keto, I would always go corn, corn tortilla. Yeah. Like I always pick corn tortilla over flour. I just, that's what I prefer. So yes, I need to try that for sure. One more thing we wanted to talk about real quick was the ketosis challenge, right? Starting yes. in a couple of weeks. So let's, let's talk a little bit about what it is. Why are we doing it? Some of the companies that maybe are getting involved yep. with it and, and what yep. we can do to, to join. Okay. So as, as we just probably, as we've been talking about, everybody's stuck at home, right? 
and how you just said you're doing the the drive by refrigerator, you know, and with and and me, it's the pick 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 picking, and you're just here at home. There's nowhere to go. Like literally, I have there's nowhere I could go if I don't need groceries. There's nowhere for me to go anywhere. So I'm just here all day. And, and, you, and you know how companies are. They're sending you all these dang trees. I got Chalk Zero and Hecka bars and, and everybody's sending me their cereal. And I'm like, ah, oh, I can't eat it. I can't. <laughs> Come on, I can't. And like, I'll, 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 like, I'll go like a week without touching it. And then like the, you know, day eight, I'm like, I have to eat it. All right. And so nobody can stay consistent during this time. It's very hard to stay consistent. So that's what the five-day ketosis challenge is all about. Number one, it's about getting the community back together because you know this community, how, how awesome they are. That's what we the love about them. The ketogenic community, Adam. hands down, is the best community uh, there ever is. Like We support each other, whether you're a company. You could be like two cookie companies and still support each other. You don't see that anywhere else, no, no. only the keto community, right? Nobody's trying to be better than any anybody. We're all in this together. And so that's number one, to get all of us to get back together. Number two, it's so we can get back to learning how to be consistent and challenge ourselves. Can you, for five days, say, I am not going to snack on – Three hecka bars and and, and and enlightens new keto ice cream and and quests this new pizza and all this stuff, right? It's about getting back to the basics, getting back to being consistent, and can you get in can you get in ketosis five days in a row? And hopefully you take that momentum and keep going with it, right? Yes, and so yeah. that's what it's all about. It's it's one, number one. It's all about having fun. We're gonna have fun. That's 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 number one. We're all gonna have fun doing it, and we're all gonna motivate each other. We're all gonna inspire each other. It's gonna be like a big snowball. Like, hey, look at this day three, guys. I, I did it. Like, come on, absolutely. And everyone's tagging each other, and it's just a really fun, good way to motivate and inspire each other. And we also got yes, we did get companies involved. So we're actually announcing the first company uh, today. Uh, that will be participating, yes, and I'll go ahead and reveal that. That is Chalk Zero. Awesome, so, Chalk Zero. I love Chalk Zero. Great people. I, I love what they. I love what they do. You know, for someone who is a huge chocolate lover, but you want to do keto, look, Chalk Zero is for you, right? Chalk Zero should be your best friend, okay? Right. And so they're gonna. They are gonna be participating as well, and they're gonna give ten lucky winners. Um, a $30 gift card. Wow. Wow. That is a lot of chocolate. That's some, yes. it, that's it some is. good giveaways. We good. just started working with them and we just missed out. They, they came out with those peanut, peanut butter, butter cups, cups and they, she stuff. told me they sold out within an hour of them announcing them. I'm like, I need peanut that, butter cups in my life. I believe it. They, they did it with their bunny rabbits too. Yeah. Like, they, like they came with their bunny rabbits like, oh yeah, can I get one? They're like, yeah, we sold out. I'm like, oh, but I wanted to promote. But they're like, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so Chalk Zero is going to be involved. Um, we have Quest Nutrition. Quest Nutrition is going to um, is going to be involved as well. We have a Keto Beam, which is really big. I don't know if you guys have heard of Keto Beam. They're really they're electrolytes and micro boosts. Okay, um, no, I wow. haven't. Really, really great company. Oh, I love them. Love them to death. Um, so we got we got we got Keto Beam. We got a really cool local company from my hometown. Well, not well from my area called Gaines Bakery. I don't know if you've ever heard of them. Yes, yes, yes they are two awesome people. I have to tell you about. It. I have to just. I, I I know we're probably low on time, but I have no, to. No, that's okay. I was just watching your video with 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 the husband from that company. I mean, so interesting listening to you guys talk about you know yeah, how they're that's, working that's out his coach. in this in this season. Just, yeah. just amazing. What a nice person. They are, Elena and Ross are two of the most nicest human beings you'll ever meet. And guess what, guys? They own a restaurant that specializes in low-carb keto treats and foods. Wow. So, yeah, I was hoping to get there when we came out for KetoCon. Then, of course, yeah, yeah everything happened. Gosh, you would, yes. Next year. And, Anybody who's in Central Texas, you need to make it out to New Braunfels and go to Gaines Bakery because they have the best food, hands down. And if you want it keto, cool, they'll make it keto. If you don't do keto, they can they can do it regular. Um, they're just just such a great company, and they they develop their own diet hacking sauces, is what they call them. And so, yeah, they're going to be giving away their sauces as well. 
Uh, and we just, yeah, we got, we got, a, we got Redmond's real salt involved. I know you love Redmond's real oh, salt. Oh yeah, love them. Love them all. Love them. We got Keto Coach. Obviously, it's going to be involved. We got American Metabolics going to give out some, uh, some Keto Meal as you well. Have Robert too, right? Yeah, we got yeah we got keto brick involved as well. You know, obviously, I gotta I gotta incorporate my, my my brother Robert. So keto brick, who doesn't love a keto brick? So like again, we got great companies that are all gonna get behind this and be involved, and it's gonna be fun. Like at the end of the day, it's gonna be fun, and it's gonna be cool to get every get everybody back together. That's what I love getting everybody back together because, like you said, everybody was looking forward to KetoCon. Yep, getting back together, hanging out. Since we can't do that, this is the next best thing, right? So, And when is this going to get started? This is going to get started May 4th through May 8th. Everybody, you still have time. Go get your meter. I know a lot. I think the number one question was like, hey, do I have to have a keto coach meter? No, you don't have to have a keto coach meter. Now, I would love for you to have a keto coach meter, but if you don't, it's all good. It's all good. I, I want everybody participating. You use whatever meter you like. Uh, but make sure you get your meter. Make sure you get your strips so you can uh, be ready to rock and roll Monday, May 4th through Friday, May 8th. And we're all going to do this together. We're all going to hold each other accountable. We're all going to consistently get back in ketosis because I know a mo- two months ago we'd have been like, oh, I'm, I'm good. I'm in ketosis all the time. Well, now you're stuck at home. You can't go to the gym. You can't – you know, people are scared to go to the grocery store, and you're just snacking all day. It could get tough. So what do we have to do to participate? We have to have a meter, and then, meter and you got and you got, and you got to test your 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 ketones Monday through Friday, and um and just use the hashtag five day ketosis challenge. Simple. And anybody who uses that hashtag, we're going to enter you into the the the, the drawing to win. So every day there will be a winner. So to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, two companies will be participating. That's in awesome. The so wow. We got Keto Brick and Keto Bean. We got Chalk Zero and Quest. So every day, it's like, like you'll have 20 plus people uh, eligible to win. And so every day, you'll have a chance to win for, with these awesome. companies. That's so awesome. That's awesome. Cool. So exciting. Yeah. Yeah. It's awesome. Well, I think that's about it. We really appreciate you coming on, Logan. Miss you. Yes. Unfortunately, just... we weren't able to get out there to KetoCon, but hopefully as soon as all of this kind of goes away, we can get back out there. We, I mean, we were supposed to be going out to Salt Lake for Keto Salt Lake. I and then No, I, that's what I was looking forward to because, I, well, I love Salt Lake. Yeah. I love Utah, the people, the city, so beautiful. FitCon's one of the most underrated um, expos ever. People don't talk about it, but it's one of the coolest ones I've ever been to. And yeah, I was so looking forward to it. And I was uh, I was looking forward to getting removed by security from the we Redmond go, Real Salt yeah, Mines we gonna, for we, licking we the wall. We set it up with you know Chris oh. and Aaron from Keto <laughs> Child. We were going to be touring the mine, and it's like, yeah. oh really? Hopefully, That's maybe Houston so cool. won't get canceled. Maybe maybe they're going to still. I don't think we've heard anything about them canceling Houston yet. Yeah, I know. I, you know, everyone's crossing their fingers. I understand the situation is serious, but um, at the same time, it's like, come on, we, <laughs> the American people can't deal, can't do much, much more of this. I know I can. I'm going right. crazy. I gotta get out. I'm the people's person. Right. I know. I was just thinking people. that when I was watching, the, you know, that recent interview, and also like your recent grocery haul with your family, because I am a hugger. I'm a people person. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, and. You have grocery curbside pickup. Yeah. You have no gym to go to. Even yeah. my neighbors, I'm supposed to keep, you know, a distance from. And it's yeah. like finding peopling opportunities are really, you know, it's really difficult. I mean, yeah. I've got like a smiley face on my mask because I feel like I can't even, you know, can't even smile. I you know? I, like if, I, if I'm in, if I take a picture with my mask, I'm like, like you, you know, I'm smiling. Like you know, right. <laughs> I know you can't tell, but. That it really bugs me that when I have my mask on and if I take a picture, so I'm like, you can't see me smile because yeah. I'm smiling. Yeah, no, I'm, I I miss people. I miss uh, talking to people. I miss hanging out with people. I, I can't wait till this is over because I am just going to go crazy. I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to I'm going to be out. I'll never be home. Well, thank you for this opportunity to people through the Ketosis Challenge yes. and for your videos. We are really, really enjoying them that we don't miss out on seeing the girls growing up and seeing yeah. you doing your thing. So thank you for that. 
Hey, no problem. You, I, I appreciate it. Thank you for uh, uh, bringing me on. I really do uh, Thanks, appreciate Logan. it. We'll see uh, you soon. Thank you. Bye. Bye. I love Goody Beats. I love getting to talk to him. And I'm really excited about this ketosis challenge. I think it's really necessary in this time for mm -hmm. us to have these sort of positive challenges where we can be together as a keto community, even if we can't be together in a space like, you know, Keto Salt Lake right now or KetoCon, Keto those sort of things. Yeah. So I'm excited to be able to be promoting this. I'm excited for the whole challenge. I'm excited to see everybody getting their ketosis numbers up there. Now, if you don't have a keto coach, I will leave a link down below. We also have a discount code. It's two crazy ketos. I think it gets you 10% off of the meter. One of the things that we do like about Keto Coach over the other one, and there's nothing wrong with the other meter, but one of the things I really like about Keto Coach is number one, the strips are cheaper. You can right. set it up on like automatic delivery, like every 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, and you only pay 55 cents a strip. Plus they're all individually wrapped, but I will yeah. leave that link for that down below. Well, that's today's episode of Keto and Friends. Let us know down in the comment section some other people that you'd like to see us interview. Please do us a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time, bye. bye.